welcome to school of civil engineering in our next video we have shown you that how we'll model a rectangular water tank and we have modeled that and there have many video about state pro and also e tabs and many other about many other software and about our department related civil department related many videos so you can watch that and in this video I will show you that how will as a load on our that water tanks and how will design for them so let's start I'll open Estate Pro and from here that is our previous model I'll open that and if you're new here, I can show you the model of our auto tank. Here is the model of our auto tank. You're seeing that. Here is our auto tank. So I'll go ahead geometry. And now we'll apply load on here. So first of all, I'll go here load page then click here load case details then add so first of all here dead load add then go for live load so add then close that after that click here dead load then add so from here we will use self weight so self weight load so we will use self self weight load in y direction it will be downward so minus 1 A factor will be uh, multiplied by minus 1 as it is downward then add it's done then close we'll click self wait and assign to view then assign yes so we have assigned self wait in total frame and uh, you can guess that there only will be added some load that is water load so when it will be fill, fulfilled by water that some water load will become here and we'll consider the water load as live load so we have a study in our geotechnical engineering that the when we'll fill the total box by water then it will effect on the surface and in top it will be very little and in bottom it will be high so we can calculate that we can calculate that as per our geotechnical engineering that we have learned I mean the total load will be half into ace half into ace into gamma so we can easily calculate that what will be the pressure I mean water pressure on the bottom and top so we know that our equation was a height into the height of the water into unit of water will be the bottom pressure so if I use calculator so in pound we know that our unit weight is 62.4 and we know that our total height is maybe it's 5 
let's take that sorry six feet into six three seven four point four pound yeah three seven four point four <coughs> pound per square feet so we have to convert it okay that pound now we'll go here for live load we'll give the water pressure press add then go here plate load and here hydrostatic load after plate load we have to press hydrostatic load now from here we have to select plate for which plate you want to work select plate and select the plate click here plate cursor and select plate the plate number 20 it's plate number 20 then done for that plate we'll give the load so it's showing it's keeps per square feet but we have here we have pound per square feet so we have to convert that in keep so it will be if we divide that divide that by 1000 to convert it in keep it will be 0.3744 okay so we have to see in that this is a w2 for top and w1 for bottom and for a w1 it will be 0 0.3 let's check again 3744 well, suppose we take we can take 5 and here we can take very little 0 0.005 suppose 5 in top So five keep. Oh, sorry, five pound. Okay. After that, you have to select here. Interpolate along x global axis. So it will be y, and the direction of pressure will be local z and uh, nothing to worry that which direction it will be we'll first of all we'll add that and then we'll go for tick add then close and click here so click that load and Assign to selected plate. Assign yes. Now we'll check that is it okay or not. So click here and press Ctrl and then move your mouse for that. Uh, otherwise, click here loads so by clicking here by clicking here we're seeing that our low direction is not right it will be outward so click here and give your minus 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 then change close so now we're seeing that it's outward after that we'll go for that plate again click live load add from here plate hydrostatic select and select plate cursor select that done and here we'll use 0. Point 3, 7, 5 and it's 
0.005 it will be a y and it will be global local z so pressure at close so you are seeing that it's outward so it's okay now for the two plate again we'll go ahead live load add plate load hydrostatic load and select plate we'll select that plate then ok and we'll give her 0 0.375 and here 0 0.005 it's y and local z after that press add then close we're seeing that that load are also down uh, uh, outward so again we'll go here for that that on live load add then we'll go here plate load hydrostatic and select then we'll select that okay then it's y it's z and it will be minus 0 0.375 and here minus 0 0.005 uh, y local z done then press add okay it's done our both side uh, load assigning are done now we'll go for our down portion again we'll go here now we'll calculate the total unit weight so we know that the unit weight of water is 62.4 and again we'll go here live load add new load and now we'll give load for that portion i mean that bottom portion and uh, we know that the wall water pressure will be applied here so for that we'll go here area load and we have to calculate the weight of water per square feet so what will be so again um, as previous it will be zero point three seven five and it will be global y minus global y is it will be down minus global y seven five minus global y then add close after that click here we have selected that plate then select that and after that we'll select that plate and assign to selected plate it's not showing click here use assign to use cursor to assign assigning it's not assigning maybe they have some problem close that delete that will again go here live load add sorry it will be plate load pressure on full plate it will be plate load and pressure on full plate so here it will be 0 0.375 it will be minus and it will be global y then add close select that load and also select that click here 
plate cursor select that plate and assign to selected plate then assign yes it's done so if we click every load it's first self word so we have completely assign our load for our structure now we can go here command analysis performed analysis no print okay then again go analysis run analysis save we're seeing that it's done so go post processing mode done okay so for it we can see here plate click here force limit scale here plate stress click here absolute and then apply ok so here you can see that the pressure pressure on every plate so it's showing the pressure on every plate so if we move that if we go in 3d and uh, if we move that it's showing the pressure for every plate so click here and in this way we can analyze our water tank and after that in our next video I'll go for design so Thank you, thank you very much. Stay connected till next video.